30 days, I've been doing a Murph challenge every single day. Today's day 30 out of 30, which has been crazy. It went by so fast. For those of you that don't know what a Murph is, basically it's two one mile runs and in between you do 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 body squats. Since it is the summertime, I've actually been doing the Murph Remix, which basically instead of 100 pull-ups, I've been doing 100 bicycle kicks just to work my abs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. I will be doing more challenges like this just because I enjoy this challenge so much. So uh, without further ado, this is my 30 day Murph challenge. Enjoy. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. I just wrapped up day one. Whew, this is gonna be a lot tougher than I originally thought. So I basically did the entire workout in about span of an hour and a half, two hours. I'm not in good shape right now, um, but I think my goal is to try and knock it all out and hour and a half. I think tomorrow I'm gonna be feeling it. This whole week I'm gonna be feeling it. But I need to, I think, strategize a little bit and split them out into sets to kind of help ease the load, I guess. Um, so I'll figure that out tonight. Um, but yeah, day one is a success. More to come soon. Day two, um, I think that sucks the most is most of the parks are closed right now. So there's like no good place to do push-ups or body squats. Um, so I just have to get, keep getting creative. Been a little too nice for y'all. Now I got up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I woke in a ball today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record I still count wins when they got it on record off record I let them take advantage I was wildin' on record off record deals tell them talk the column for the quote on record off record I still want to act not the ghost oh, for the record I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable right. for the record you ain't trying to go down the stuff for you It's day 15. I uh, just finished my first mile. Crazy that it's been two weeks already. I'm only at the halfway mark, but I will say my body feels incredibly good compared to like week one. Like my legs are I feel like three times stronger. My uh, upper body is about three times stronger and my miles have decreased by like a minute and a half. So it's been a good, uh, good two weeks so far.
But there's something holding on It is day 19 I just ran my first mile currently at the park it's about a mile away from my house it looks like it's about to rain but still had to get it in I have uh, 11 days left till I hit the, the 30 day challenge so let's keep grinding let's go so hard to super humid out and today's a struggle it's uh body's pretty tired but just gotta keep powering through this next set so it's gonna keep going day out of 30. Tomorrow's Friday, July 3rd, and then Saturday's July 4th. That's definitely gonna be my toughest, uh, I think, two days just because of the holiday and uh, something I've also been doing. I haven't been drinking uh, this entire month, so I gave myself a cheat day for July 4th, so hopefully on the 5th I'm not too hungover. Um, but yeah, my, my game plan going in is to get up early on both tomorrow and uh, Saturday, so we'll see if that happens. But yeah, t next two days will be a uh, be a grind. So uh, let's do this. Just got done with day 27. Oh man, it was uh, pretty brutal. Today's 4th of July, definitely the hardest Murph I've had to do. Scorching hot outside, like 92, 93. But, it got done. So, got three more Murphs to go, and uh, we'll hit our uh, 30 day challenge. Let's get it. What's up guys, it's day 29 out of 30. Currently at the park, wrapping up my uh, 29th Murph challenge. Uh, tomorrow's it, it's the big day. Final day in this challenge. I'm pretty excited, can't believe it's been 29 days already. Um, let's finish strong, let's do this. Today's day 30 out of 30, which has been crazy. It went by so fast. My body has felt the strongest it's probably ever been, even back into my college days when I was just playing basketball all day. I've also had chicken legs pretty much my entire life. So doing all these body squats, um, man, it's been, it's been awesome just feeling how strong my legs have gotten just these past 30 days. 
throughout this journey, I've kind of went through a lot of ups and downs. My body, you know, had days where I've been super exhausted. I wanted to give you some tips that helped me along the way through the process in case you wanted to try a Murph challenge for 30 days. So something that I really focused on was just trusting my body. You know, if I ever felt sore one of the days, I'd usually do a lot of stretching and try to hydrate as much as possible all day and then uh, try and complete my Murph challenge in the evening. Usually it worked out pretty well. So another tip that I have, I took a lot of cold showers throughout these past 30 days. Um, basically what I mean by that is I uh, started my shower out just how I usually do, like nice and hot. And then right as I was about to get out, I would flip the temperature all the way to cold and kind of let the cold water kind of like soak my legs or any, I guess, parts of my body that were sore. Just using the cold water, it kind of helped with recovery whenever my body and muscles were sore. So that's something that I would suggest uh, doing throughout these 30 days. The last two things, of course, that, that helped a lot was uh, getting plenty of sleep. Um, just, you know, again, trusting my body and whenever I was tired, I would try to go to bed early and try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep every single night. And then as far as the diet goes, I just made sure to hydrate throughout the day, drink a lot of water, as well as eat a well-balanced meal every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, make sure I get plenty of fruits and vegetables in my diet. And something that I did, but I mean, of course you don't have to do it. I actually cut out alcohol for these past 30 days. I did give myself one exception because of 4th of July. So I did drink and, and have a good time on 4th of July, but basically pretty much all the other days um, this entire month, I cut out alcohol completely and my body felt great. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. I will be doing more challenges like this just because I enjoy this challenge so much. So subscribe to follow all my future challenges and what I do in the coming weeks and months. Something you could toast to I ain't tryna hear about what you won't do